What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Two Phones for Free, back again with another informative video. You know, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to 9 to 5 Google for posting this on their website. If you guys want to know everything about Google or updates on Android, things of that sort, you follow your boys at 9 to 5 Google. I'll leave a link in the description box. Now, this video is going to be strictly about Google TV and its new integrations with 30 streaming services or 30 plus streaming services that will find you, um, you know, the latest on movies and TV or um, will recommend you what to watch um, on Google TV, uh, Chromecast or even on your Android device or tablet or a Chromebook. Or Chromebook, but if you got that, if you're using Google TV on your Chromebook, it does work. I'm just letting you know. Um, so they have like 30, they have updated with the uh, 30 streaming services, and they, they also drop a full list. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but um, you know, the big names like uh, Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO Max, NBC, uh, Peac Peacock, uh, Amazon Prime Video. Comedy Central, YouTube TV, etc., etc. So it has some of the uh, biggest names out there for streaming services, and majority of them are for free. So majority of these on the list you can view for free. Did you even know you can even watch HBO Max uh, episodes for free? Like the original HBO uh, episodes, you can watch some of those for free with the HBO Max application. Yeah, they can tell you that, but. That's besides the point. Um, so, I mean, this is the list. I will leave um, all the. I will leave the list in my description box and on my blog site. And like I said, I'll give uh, credit due to Notify Google um, for for bringing this up and actually letting people know what the deal is. So, um, yeah, I mean, you got some of the top streaming services already integrated into the Google uh, TV application. Now, uh, one one uh, thing they did mention that's not actually in the, the list is Netflix. Netflix isn't on the list and Apple TV Plus. So there's two. There's two streaming services that not in the list and we probably already know why. But Netflix and Apple TV aren't a part of this integration but uh, if you're a Netflix fan, you, you already know you can still download the app and watch your Netflix originals and all that stuff like that. So, but yeah, so let me let me just exit out of that um, link and let's just go into the Google TV application now. Um, it was known as Google Play Movies, but now it's Google TV, which I don't mind. I, I mean, I think it should have been that in the first place or Google Movies and TV or something like that. But that's besides the point. But this is how... The application looks on the Android phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy, so this is what it looks like on my Android phone. Um, you have your For You. So it's basically based on your interest and what you watch, um, the services um, that you do have. And it says, it even lets you know if the movie is already in your library or not like that. And I, I told you guys, um, it's also integrated in Movies Anywhere. So if you have your Movies Anywhere collection, you will also see those movies linked in the google tv um integration so no need to download all these extra apps now they might tell you to download so i do have hulu because you guys know that i have the hulu premium package uh what bundle with the disney and espn so let's see if i tap on this okay so now it's showing you that legion um you can watch it on hulu i can watch it now and it's also giving me other options where to watch it at Google TV Island. Buy the episodes, or if you already got like another subscription, like Hulu or something like, or Amazon, or whatever, if it's available, you could just watch it through those other applications. And all you have to do is just open it up. It'll open up. If the app's already on your mobile device, it will open it up and it will take you to that application to watch that particular episode or movie or live TV, um, whether it's ESPN Sports or ABC News and that sort of like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's a lot of pushing and opening. And I, I kind of get, you know, you, you'll you complain about that. But for the simple fact, like, if you got the storage, if you got the storage, you can do it. But let's just go ahead and get out of that and go back into <laughs> the Google TV application. And as you can see, you can scroll down. Um, you can shop on the Google TV app. Um 
and things of that sort. Um, they got some of the latest movies that's in theaters. You can actually watch right from the Google TV app. But of course, they're gonna they're gonna want you to you know buy. Okay, they're gonna want you to they're gonna want to want you to purchase. And this is my personal collection uh, based on my movies anywhere uh, account. So this is my personal co collection of movies um, that's included or, or integrated into the Google TV because I linked my Google account to movies anywhere. So now any movie I owned or bought and got a digital copy and put the code in to movies anywhere and linked my Google account to movies anywhere. Now it all pops into the Google TV application. So I, I think that's really a pretty cool uh, neat thing for Google TV. And then my watch list, which um, I'm probably going to check these out later on um, in the day. Um, that way I can just take them off my list because I am interested in the 24. That's on Tui TV for free. And then you got this uh, a copy uh, Wall Street collaboration film on Peacock for free. But it's, it's showing um, through the Google TV application and sort of like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's all about your preference, guys, and what you want and how you watch TV. I mean, hey, I think Google does it better than anybody else, in my opinion. Uh, you all might say, oh, they're tracking you and all this stuff, but who's not tracking you, okay? So we can go ahead and throw that out the damn window, all right? Just throw that out the window. That's not what this is about. This is about getting the, the best out of your TV and streaming experience. And like I said, Google TV does it, right? They does it the best. They they do it the best, hands down. Uh, like I said, you can get all your, your latest uh, streaming service. Philo, you get Disney Plus, Prime, um, Fubu, you get, like I said, HBO Max, Hulu, um, psh, whatever you got, it's in here in Google TV now, Pluto TV, Tubi, so, it, like I said, majority of these are free, they got stars, they got Showtime, Cinemax is included, um, integrated in the system A&E, you got ABC, you got NBC, uh, even CW, so, it's all about what's in your library, what's in your collection, what movies and TV you're interested in. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you use any of those list of uh, streaming services and why or why not aren't you on a Google TV application? Um, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I got Samsung TV, I got Plex, I, got, I mean, I got everything basically. But why aren't you? not into it just leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and shout out to notify google for dropping that list i will leave a link in the description box and a list in the description box catch you in the next episode Peace.